Hello, so this is another short video on uh, how to use the new part of the interface in uh, Ortho 4 XP and what you can do with it. So here I've launched uh, version 1.18, uh, the binary version in Windows, and here you have some tiles which are in my tiles uh, directory, which I made just for, for testing. And uh, okay, so I click on this Earth tile map and I will get I also resume that window. I will get a map of the world where I will have a, a blue rectangle for each of the tiles that I have in my in my tiles directory. Each of the tiles which follow my naming scheme. Okay, so if you change the directory names of your tiles, you won't see them in the interface. But th th there are other ways to, to get them. I, I'll show you maybe later or in another video. For example, here you see I have different uh, directories where I actually group some tiles. You see there is not uh, uh, one directory per tile, but in those uh, here, I, if I go here, you see I have many DSF inside the same. So I will show you later how to deal with that. Okay, uh, first thing, to, so we have a tile here for a, a rectangle for each of our tiles. The second thing I can show you about these tiles once they are done uh, here, Let's go to my custom scenery, and you see there, there is no, they are not there in the custom scenery. But if I go to any of them and I click, click with the right mouse button, you see it has the, the link has appeared here. So if I, now I go to, if I launch explain, it will appear. So I can, I can select many of them like that, and if I click again, they will. You see they disappear live. They, it's uh, so the program makes what what are called junctions. Uh, in Windows, and so this is very uh, convenient, a very convenient way to deal with your tiles. I think uh, so. I advise you to to keep the tile directory uh, with Auto 4 XP and just to make jun junctions in your in your uh, custom uh, scenery there. Okay, so this is one thing. Uh, another thing. Well, now how to build some tiles from here? This is also something which you can do. So let's say we want to build a tile in Madrid. So I click here, and uh, Okay, so I switch window. Oops. I go back to my main window. Now the latitude and longitude of Madrid uh, have been selected. And uh, let's say I will do Bing in uh, level 13 just for, for it to be quick. Uh, let's don't change anything. And I just, uh, if I just, uh, or let's, let's make, no, I said I will show the, the new things that you can do. So let, uh, we want to do two types. Okay, so now I will shift click shift click I have selected these two red tiles and I want to do them I want to do them so I've not done anything on them yet so I don't have an existing mesh and I don't want a per tile config I'll just take the, the basic config that I have here uh, which, uh, which are those parameters those of you that are used but if you are not used don't 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 pay attention I, I tr I've tried to make some basic parameters that will work for most of the types. So we've selected these two tiles, and uh, oh, but let's do three tiles, four tiles, and uh, I just do a batch build. So maybe you don't have, uh, okay, now let's do that, well, batch build. And uh, if I go now here to the, uh, to the main window, it will do actually what would have been done by step one, step two, and step three, or four times in a row. All with the same, uh, uh, all with the same uh, configuration. Okay, so this is one thing. Now, uh, another thing which you might do, because this is, say, you, you, you have some uh, very uh, basic or, or common parameters for all of the tiles. Now, assume, for example, you want to make a very, a very good tile of Madrid with a high ZL on, on Madrid, and that one you don't have, you don't have uh, uh, as much expectation. So what you would do in that case, what you would do in that case is select select the Madrid tile here by double clicking, choose your custom zoom level, blah blah blah, as you would do just doing one tile. And once that is done, you would press right config. Then go to the second tile, selected, go here, choose its custom zoom level, its mean area, its curve tall, blah blah blah, press right config. 
And once you have done all the configuration for, for the tiles you want to do, then you would click on Per Tile Config and Batch Build. Okay. And if you are afraid that there would be a problem with the mesh and so on, just do the mesh before. So you do your configuration, but you also do step one, step two, because these are relatively quick. Step three is the longer one because that's the one where you need to download all the tiles. And uh, and what? And uh, and once this is done, once you have made your configuration and your mesh, in that case, you will do per tile config, use existing mesh and bash build. And if you want masks to be constructed as well, you push that. And if you want overlays to be constructed as well, you push that. Okay. This is uh, this is one thing. Uh, what next? Okay, so this is for uh, batch building of uh, of tiles. What I told you also, yes, let's let's go to so. Let me exit this one. It's still constructing here. You see, uh, we are at tile number two. So uh, maybe if I just just do one thing. Uh, uh, you see, it has been updated here. One tile has been made. The three one are no longer here because I I have exited uh, that. Um, that window because I want to do something else but they will go on uh, building when we do something else so what I wanted to show you is uh, is uh, a new feature no let's start with some yeah. I wanted to show you also when you have multiple tiles in the same uh, in the same uh, directory so here you see tiles I select that one Okay, and I do earth style map. So you see, I don't see any more of those that were in the tile directory, but uh, those ones were in uh, Persian Gulf. Uh, so here they are. Okay, and those ones they are in the same directory. So if I made if I made uh, make a link in uh, custom uh, scenery, they they are all selected at once. So here, if I click uh, on the right click, you see they get all selected at once. Um, you, if I delete, if I choose, an, okay, this is something I haven't shown you. Well, delete tile is uh, if you select a tile which you have, okay, delete it. You will delete the tile, the, the entire directory. In the in the in the case where uh, there is just one tile in the directory here, since this is one directory with many tiles, if I click delete, I don't want all the textures and so on of those tiles to be deleted. So if I click delete here, I will just have the DSF deleted. Uh, you could do that in case I don't know there is a trouble with this DSF or so on, or you just want to remove it because you have a higher ZL1 which you want to use, blah blah blah. Uh, okay, other ones when uh, when a tile is selected, active lat long is always the yellow one here. When a tile is selected, when a, a lat long is selected, delete tile. Uh, I, think, I think it's clear what it does. Delete OSM. It deletes the OSM data which we have downloaded. Delete ortho. It deletes the ortho photo, so the JPEGs, not the DDS. And delete all. It makes uh, the same as those three. Sometimes when you will work a lot with the program, you will start having data a bit uh, everywhere because you have made some tries and that they don't work and so on. We have this button here, which is toggle all stuff. And that will show you tiles where there is some kind of data, either OSM or Ortho or all. And so when you have to do some cleaning, you could, I could see that, for example, if I did something in Syria, I could select this and delete all if I don't, don't want to have anything uh, left there. Let's do it. Delete all. My, okay. That has disappeared. I can take that. Delete all. Take that. Delete all. And now it will start to, you see, okay. Uh, where are we? Here. Uh, so we have already, you know, we are not far from having done our four tiles. And uh, once they are done, I will show you something else. You see it's a ZL13 tile, so it doesn't take long to, to build them. Uh, what was that? It was uh, uh, one minute for the download and, con and the convert part. And once this is done, I will show you another feature with, which I added after the very kind suggestion of a, of a user from, uh, from Croatia on explain.org about uh, this uh, custom zoom level and importing some uh, 
some polygons from elsewhere to define uh, some uh, some very neat uh, boundaries when you have some some provider that only has uh, uh, auto photos in his country but not on the other side not on the other side of the border okay so that is done so now let's um, let's select a tile with a boundary so we will go here in Geneva for example uh, so okay now I've selected this uh, 40 things the custom bill no, I don't put it and now I want to choose custom zoom level preview so this is the 46.6 and uh, okay so here here is Switzerland and this is France okay and uh, let's say I want to use different different uh, auto photo providers because I have a very good imagery in Switzerland uh, and another one in France but they, their data stops at the border so what I will do is uh, say I will use uh, I will uh, put it later I will use the French uh, orthophoto as a basis and now I want to make a polygon for Switzerland where I will choose here so, so let's say I take and uh, here I have uh, okay this is just for the example let's say we, we will use Google for Switzerland this is probably a very bad choice but this is not uh, the thing I want to explain here this is this load poly uh, new button so I push on it and uh, well, I think I so I downloaded the, those polygons. I have one for Italy and one for Switzerland. There's a website when the, where you can download them uh, immediately. So I, I click on this Switzerland poly. I do open, and you see it has uh, selected Switzerland. It's not. It's not. Uh, th there is some work done behind the scene here because those polygons they have uh, the one that you download. They have tens of thousands of, of points, and so somehow you have to reduce their complexity so that they can be used in uh, in the program. Uh, but still, you see they follow the they follow the boundary. There was actually a mistake, and uh, that was noticed by that user. Thanks to him, in the way there was a, so he used a kind of a linear. Uh, interpolation between the top and the bottom of the tile whereas this uh, these lat long coordinates is not a linear system so I corrected that thanks to him and now I have this zone here this yellow zone which is Switzerland I save it and I save and exit and uh, if I wanted to use the French for the bottom of the tile so the part was, that was not selected and I would go on using the uh, the tile as uh, as uh, previously okay uh, what uh, next did i want to show about this version i don't remember or some notices yes uh, one, one of the new things that uh, was made for this version is that you remember when you do this step two um, there are some tiles actually many of them when you use the viewfinder panorama uh, elevation data that have some small holes and uh, i had a, a trick to 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 cover to to fill those holes which was not very clever i just used the mean altitude of the tiles and in many places that had uh, some bad effects you had some kind of pyramids in the middle of the in the middle of the scenery and so I found a new way to, to fill those holes and I, just by a nearest, you, basically I just pick the nearest uh, neighbor which is non, uh, no data zone. So it, there's a little bit of work to be done but that, that's not that difficult. And it turned out not to be that difficult. And so hopefully now you'll tell me but I hope there won't be those pyramids uh, anymore. And I think it is about uh, all about the new features of this uh, of this interface let's see yes oh no th yeah there is one more thing 